Hey friend, I'm Nico and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna have this well crafted uh, navigation bar and we will animate the background, the blue background using frame in motion uh, library. So let's do it. Before start recording, let's look a little bit uh, into frame in motion documentations. So um, we will use the layout prop of uh, a motion component. Yeah, it's you see like this. And um, what it does, it's uh, attempting to detect any animation layout uh, when the uh, React render changes. So here we have an example on their website. Uh, and for example, we will have uh, here an, um, let's even open the sandbox. So we have the um, a state, yeah? And uh, this stage changes when we press on this component here, and um, it, it has it has different uh, CSS uh, to different um, uh, states. So if that state is true, uh, the component or the, this circle will be uh, placed to the end. And we see here that there is no any transition added to the uh, to the CSS. So um, the framer motion does all the trick. Uh, all what we have to do is we have to pause the layout prop and um, make sure to have different CSS properties to it. Uh, so if we press on it, uh, the next time React uh, renders, uh, framer motion detects that is a layout change and will uh, somehow uh, somehow interpolate between uh, of this component between different uh, animation changes. We will also look into this layout ID as well. So um, we, we can with layout ID we can target the actual elements um, on our page. For example, if here we have the underline. So only on when this element is changing, then the frame of motion will perform its uh, magic. So let's now go back uh, into our project and um, let's uh, let's try to 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 replicate what I've shown it, it you in the beginning. So here we I'm having the uh, DOM render. It's just a simple list, and down here we'll have the um, uh, CSS. First, what I'm gonna do is uh, you'll have to install. Uh, framer motion here, yeah. And also, I install the class name component. It's usually uh, very easy to compound classes with it. So let's go back and import import uh, motion. I think is uh, um, it should be motion from uh, framer motion. I'm just gonna create here a new state. And let's import use set state from React, and we will um, have here an on mouse enter. So when we want to, when we hover on one of these elements, we want to update the state. So we will set the state to the current uh, top element. So what what this does is uh, you enter a mouse, and the state is updated. And now what one what I want to do here is uh, under this list is if tab is equal to selected tab, then we want to render an uh, div element. Yeah, let's just for now not overcomplicate and let's give it a nice class of under underline. Let's refresh and we, if we inspect here, uh, yeah, we see the underline. Let's uh, get out of, and here we can see the underline. So we can go now and add the CSS class for, um, for the underline. Let me copy and I'll just pass into it so here under list let me paste yeah so 
we have this one already happening and but now you can see that there is no animation happening to to the background and that's because we all of our DOM elements are not mm, for motion so what we can do is we can change uh, this one motion dot div and also this one motion dot div yeah let's save and nothing really changed as well and now let's go and use the layout id underline so we want to have the animation happen to only the the uh, underline so let's add the layout id and yeah so now you, you can see that there is already uh, a lot of change here what we can do is we can add a transition and i'm having here let me a new line I'm having here a transition um, there is addition documentations here but uh, this is a spring uh, transition and it bounces when it reaches the end and there is a duration as well so yeah so if you see there's nice transition what I want to add is I want to make the uh, font white when uh, the underline is uh, or, or when the tab is active and black when it's not. So I will make the uh, this spawn a motion element as well. So let's go here motion and let's uh, use the animate um animate from let me check yeah this one no not this one animate animation i think uh animate yeah so animate is a uh, as well as a mo frame or motion uh prop um it tells uh a frame or motion to animate this element to to some some sort of um style or anything so I want to do to this pen here we animate the color of uh, or the font color to be white if it's selected and to be black if it's not selected yeah so it already works a little bit yeah and we want to change as well the um, the transition so let me copy here so transition 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 is equal to um, this again is some some arbitrary um, transition you can you can use whatever you want and let's do a, a small delay and there is a small what have oh there's another bracket here yeah so you can see the animation happening that's all folks you have here a nice animation on the nav bar um, using framer motion so you can see how easy it is to create um, this nice effect I, I think I saw I'm not uh, I don't remember the agency but I've seen this effect to a digital agency and uh, here came the the uh, inspiration to create this one so yeah thank you guys for enjoying and I'll see you to the next one